Hey folks, today we're going to show you how to pan pack a bearing. This conventional roller bearing, like a wheel bearing, needs to be greased before it's installed. Notice there's a very narrow gap between the inner and the outer race. If you flip it over, there's a fairly wide gap between the inner and outer race on that side, and you can see the ends of the rollers. That's the side we're going to pack full of grease. You can buy a conventional bearing packer at an auto parts store, but if you don't mind getting your hands greasy, this is actually faster and you don't have to go find the, the bearing packer and mess around with cleaning it up and before and after you use it. Pump a wad of grease into your off hand. If you're right handed, it seems to work best if you put it in your left hand. Then simply push that open end of the bearing into the grease and pull it across the skin of your hand. If you do it, you'll, you can almost feel the way it's hydraulically forcing the grease between the races and between the rollers and filling the, the gap in the bearing. And you can see there's a little bump of grease starting to show there and that's where the grease is being forced up through the rollers. And that's what you're looking for. That, those little ridges of grease mean that those two rollers are completely full of grease and that's what you want. It's a good time to mention that we may call this packing a bearing, but you really don't want to pack a bearing. All you want to do is fill it with grease. Engineers tell me that if you pack a bearing too full of grease, you can actually cause overheating problems and shorten the bearing's life if it's just totally completely packed. So all you want to do is just, you know, force grease up in there so that there's some grease between every roller and all the way around the perimeter between the two races. You can see that it's kind of a sloppy job, but by the time you're done, all the rollers are greased internally and externally and the bearing's ready to install.